Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, July 12, 2021. Over the last 12, 13, 14 years, we've had a number of challenges show up at the shop. But this 1950, 18-foot Chris Craft Riviera may be our biggest challenge yet. Uh, everything we see on these two horses, uh, everything there is deck planking, but not necessarily for or from this boat. Uh, our understanding is it came from another 18-foot Riviera. And our job is to turn her into a show-ready, magnificent Riviera. She has her original, I'm not sure what the engine is, but I believe it's a KL, looking at that uh, big honking carburetor down there. It's a Chrysler Flathead 6, it's the original one. But this boat's just been sitting as you see her uh, for decades, many decades. We will start up here on the top and leave all of this all of this cross bracing in of course all of this has to come out so that we can work on it and a lot of this vertical framing's in pretty good shape but then we have lots of this so we will have to replace this frame board full length on both sides in mahogany. The owner actually probably saved the boat by fitting in whatever he could find to stabilize the boat and then the actual deck and deck framing, as you can see, is uh, cable tied on top of it. Um, the one of our biggest challenges is the fact that we're, we'll have to fabricate an entirely new stem. Uh, the keel is completely shot. The top side planking could be saved, except that if you remember in a Riviera, the planks are quite long and they end up here at the stem and there's no way we can save that. And fitting in a bunch of short planks uh, is to go on a fool's errand. The hull loses strength. It looks like garbage because you have all these butt, random butt joints. Uh, so we will be fabricating for the most part. Uh, fortunately, we have an original joint here but the rest of this is just about all full length. So it will have to be replaced. And you can see on the starboard side, the deck framing along the gunnel, the gunnel framing is completely shot. That steering wheel is unusual. I mean, it's a, it's a Chris Craft steering wheel, but it's, I'm sure, not the wheel that came with the boat. Um, the stringers appear to be in savable condition. What are you finding down here, Joe? Well, most of the inner skin planking is gone. Um, so that comes back to making sure before we can even take the boat off the trailer, 
we got to get all this framing done so that way we can release it and be able to flip it but all most of the inside of the, like the whole framing going down while the planks are are solid so it looks like a majority of our rot was mostly on our on the whole planking on the outside and all of the exterior framing on the gunnel and on the transom itself too the only the only framing i've seen that's questionable so far is back where the transom is your main bottom frame that goes across it does seem like there is some dry rot onto it yeah um so that once we release that plank we'll be able to really get a solid answer on if it's going to be savable or not and we're going this is going to be a challenge to to rebuild this all the, the way the full length across the back and the full length on both sides Absolutely. because that radius is not constant and so this is our what we call our intake video this is where we begin on july 10 excuse me july 12 2021 we launched the challenge of saving one of Chris Craft's most iconic models, the 18 foot RIV. This is a 1950 18 foot RIV by hull number, and therefore is one of the early ones. We have all the seating. We have all, well, we think we have all the hardware. We'll find out. So, with that, we'll end this introduction to our 1950 18-foot Chris Craft Riviera. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.